My name is Todd Neville, Senior Pilot Specialist for Cable Accessories, and this is In-Depth. Across the country, there is a common theme causing power quality issues in underground systems. The issue is improper torque of separable connectors. Underground separable connectors are comprised of soft metals such as aluminum or copper, which makes connecting these to the proper torque the most important yet overlooked part of the installation process. Underground cable accessories commonly have a 200, 600, or 900 amp current rating that will not be achieved if the recommended torque of the separate connector is not met. Today I will discuss underground separate connectors, tools used to obtain proper torque, and the proper installation and torque requirements, which can also be found in the installation instructions that come with each cable accessory. The low break elbow probe comes with its own torque wrench for installation. When using the wrench, make sure that the probe is tightened until the wrench becomes permanently deformed. There are several manufacturers of probe torque tools. These tools make probe installation quicker and easier. These tools make sure they torque to a minimum of 110 inch pounds. These tools do wear out over time and get out of calibration. Torque values should be checked yearly. Low brake bushings are screwed into wells onto a copper stud. Over torque can break these studs, which can cause huge issues if the stud is not replaceable. Bushing inserts require 15 foot pounds of torque using a 5 16 hex wrench. Again, there's different manufacturers of these insulation tools and they need to be checked regularly for calibration. Another important fact to achieve proper torque is applying a light even coat of the supplied lubricant over the entire surface of the interface. One of the purposes of the lubricant is to decrease the friction on the surfaces during installation to ensure proper torque is applied to the connection. The ETP gives you a 200 amp interface off the back of a T-body. While the ETP looks very similar to a bushing insert, the torque requirement is much greater. The torque requirement for an ETP is 50 to 60 foot-pounds, whereas a bushing insert is only 15 foot-pounds. Torque tools are made for these as well, Make sure that you use the correct tool for the correct part. If you use an ETP tool to install a bushing insert, you may break the stud. If you use a bushing insert torque tool to torque the ETP, you will not get it tight enough and the connection will fail. The basic insulating plug or bit has a one inch hex nut for tightening. A torque wrench and one inch socket is required to torque the bit to 50 to 60 foot pounds. Remember, over torque will damage the threads of the aluminum or copper stud under torque and the connection will not hold the 600 or 900 amp current rating. The LRTP connects to both the threaded lug and equipment bushing and requires 20 to 25 foot pounds of torque after the shear pin has been sheared connecting the LRTP to the threaded lug. The data plugs have a 600 amp interface on both sides but these two or more T bodies can be connected. The data plugs require 50 to 60 foot pounds of torque be sure that they are torqued from both sides of the connecting plug as well as both sides of the T-body. Installing your cable accessories, please remember to lubricate them well, check the instruction sheet for the proper torque, and make sure the torque tool you're using is the correct tool and it has been tested within the last year. Remember, when you're installing one of these cable accessories, it is very important to achieve the proper torque that will allow it to carry the current that it is rated for. For more information, contact your local territory manager or customer service representative.